The modern Middle East emerged out of tremendous turmoil in the aftermath of World War I, and the creation under the auspices of the Europeans of modern states in Syria and Iraq and Lebanon, Jordan and the Gulf states. After World War II, many of them became independent. You also witness after World War II the emergence of Israel, the creation of Israel. And that led to a whole new set of tensions within the region that pitted Arab against Israeli. But you also saw internal tensions in many of these countries uh, because of ethnic and sectarian differences, because many of them didn't have uh, vibrant or dynamic political parties. But you had autocrats in most of these countries um, putting a lid on many of the internal pressures. It was only after the Arab Spring in 2011 that you began to see the emergence of real democracy movements. The Arab Spring was no aberration. The next 30 years will def be defined by many of the forces that inspired the Arab Spring, and that includes uh, the emergence of a young generation. They are a much more tuned in, better educated, uh, more involved and more demanding population. And so we are likely to see the kind of challenges to autocratic rule. Now, people want stability and there will be this great tension between do you want stability so that people have jobs, can go to school, um, can live in peaceful environments versus those who really want to push for their own rights. And I think one of the big factors over the next 30 years is going to be economic as much as political. One of the things that was so inspiring about the Arab Spring was that you saw people participating. The, the issue now is how do you channel that energy? How do you allow the forces to create civil society, um, alternative political parties? There is hope because there is an awareness of what's happening elsewhere in the world. People want to say over their own lives. They also want to be safe. And that's what it's, it's going to take a generation or two until we get to the point that people have the experience, the knowledge, um, the commitment to make it work. It's very easy to be in opposition to something, to be reactive. The challenge is being proactive and finding the solutions and enacting them. And that's the big challenge for the next 30 years. Won't happen in the next 30 years, but we'll make progress along the way.